What's going on, everybody? Xavier Porter, Shoot the Five. You already know what it is. In a couple of weeks or so, August 21st, you're going to have a huge, a huge welterweight showdown between current unified welterweight champion, the IBF, the WBC welterweight champion, Mr. Errol Spence Jr., man down, the truth, whatever you want to call him, taking on the eight division legend, the guaranteed Hall of Famer, Mr. Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao. Now, I'm gonna get right to the point in saying this. The winner between Manny Pacquiao and Spence will definitely face the winner between Crawford and Sean Porter once that fight gets approved and made purse bid and all. Um, as we know, that fight has been announced, it's been ordered by the WBO organization. Um, so soon enough, either top rank or PBC is gonna win the purse bid. The purse bid has started, has started at 200,000, which kind of makes it ridiculous given the fact that neither one of the, you know, Porter's a former world champion, two-time world champion, I should say that. And Crawford is the current WBO champion, three division world champion. I highly doubt <laughs> that purse bid is going to just sit there at 200,000. But either way, going, you know, going forward, we, on August 21st, Pac Pacquiao and Spence is going to put on a, a spectacular fight. And I, I, it's, it's kind of hard to see how it's going to go, but I do believe Spence is going to get the KO. Um, I think the reason being that is because he's the younger lion. I don't know if he's going to be, he's probably going to be the stronger, younger lion in there. He may not be the faster lion, but it's definitely going to be the, the stronger and younger lion in there. And I just think Spence's body work and his, and, and I think his body work is going to get him the key to the fight. Both men are southpaws, right? So we got to definitely look at that. They're both southpaws. So in a sense, they're a mirror image of each other. Now, Pacquiao's speed it, it may not be what it used to be, but it's still there. You know, he can still bounce around when he chooses to. He can still throw punches from all different angles, odd angles, left, right, right, left. One thing I've noticed also within his past, I would say four fights, as he's gotten older in his career, he's become more of a sit down puncher. And meaning he's become more complacent in the sense that you know, he, he's always had power in both hands. He can, he can catch you with the right hook. He can catch you with the left. He can buckle you. He can knock you down. But when I say sit down puncher, I mean, he's, he's become more of a sit down on his shots. Like, pop, pop, boom. Like, he's focused on just hit, hit you with that one-handed quitter, which is the left hand after the jab. You know what I mean? Jab, 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 jab. You know, it is what it is. Jab, jab, left. Jab, jab, left. You know what I mean? Um, that can present a problem if Spence stands in front of him. The only thing is, Spence, Spence's defense is pretty good. You know what I mean? His defense is pretty good, and he's a and he's going to be a bigger. He's going to be the bigger man come fight night. So that may give him the advantage of being able to take some of the shots and many throws at him. Given the fact that he'll be the bigger man on fight night, and he'll be able to in a sense, balloon up because the IBF will probably put him maybe he can't rehydrate up to maybe up to 20 pounds or something like that. But he's going to rehydrate. He's going he's gonna to make 147 and he's probably going to come in the ring fight night 160, 165 maybe, if that. You know what I'm saying? Maybe 160 because he's going to also need his own speed. And once he gets on the inside and he starts cutting off those angles, because like I said, man, he's a sit-down puncher. I don't think we're going to see the old man in Pacquiao bouncing around Trying to get, trying to take out Errol Spence. We we might see some of that early in the fight, but but by like three or four, you're gonna see Manny slow down. You're gonna see his pro his product productivity <laughs> still be there, but it's not gonna be as much as it used to be. Like in volumes of punches, I mean volumes of punches of, of you know the Manny Pacquiao we've all come to love and respect. Errol Spence is just so strong. He's gonna be the taller fighter. He'll probably have to, he'll probably have to reach. You know what I'm saying? Even though that doesn't really, you know, really, really how you say, 
ensure that he's going to get a victory because we all know Styles make fights. We've seen what happened with Castano and Charlo and the fact that Castano was the, the shorter fighter and his arms were shorter than, um, than, than Charlo's. But however, Castano fought a pretty good fight against Charlo and held his own in front of him. But I suspect Errol Spence, man down. I think Derrick James and him got a game plan in place. Um, I love the, I've been watching a, a lot of the, some of the training videos, I should say, that um, Freddie Roach and Manny Pacquiao has been allowing, has been sharing with the community, with the public in the world. I see they're working on his speed, his speed and timing. You're going to have to work on your speed and timing in order to catch Errol Spence. Maybe you're going to try to catch him coming in. Maybe you're going to try to catch him with an overhand. Because other than that, if you try to sit and go bang for bang with Errol Spence, you're just not, you're not that guy, Manny. You're just not that guy. You're not, you, your size don't even give you that. You know what I'm saying? Sean Porter went buck for buck, bang for bang with him and almost won the fight, in my humble opinion, almost won the fight, but got caught because Spence still had enough in his tank to catch him on the inside with that hook or with that left hand, I should say. Um, Spence is a phenomenal fighter, a tremendous fighter. I've, I've, I have in the past went against him in, in, um, in certain matchups. I did think that Mikey Garcia could have beat him. I thought Mikey had some, I thought Mikey and Robbie Garcia had a game plan, like an official, official game plan to come in and beat Spence. No, they did was get beat up. They got beat up throughout the whole fight. I did pick Sean Porter to beat him. Great fight, phenomenal fight. Like I said a few seconds ago, and Sean Porter just, he did, he did just enough and then he put himself out there and got caught. And that little bit of loss, that little piece of focus that he lost was the reason why he got dropped. However, his tough and his, his toughness and his grit ensured that he came back and fought the fight that he needed to fight in order to, you know, maybe lose by decision, I would say. You know what I'm saying? They said they said Spence, I think, won that fight unanimous, if I'm not mistaken. But I, I felt like if he if fought a loss, it was at least split decision. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, the winner out of Spence and Pacquiao, they got to fight Crawford or, or Porter. And Crawford and Porter's going to be a phenomenal fight itself because here you got another guy in Terrence Crawford who just, his, his, he punches all over the place. He's similar to Manny, but he doesn't start as fast as Manny. Terrence Crawford is kind of like a watcher. He assesses you, he analyzes you from the first round. Then he kind of picks up the pace in the second and then by the third or the fourth, he kind of has his he has his game plan in place where he's kind of figured you out a little bit. In this fight against Sean Porter, I, 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 it can go either way, in my opinion. It can go, excuse me, like, court keep getting caught in my foot. <laughs> but it can go either way, in my opinion, given the fact that Porter loves to come forward. Sean Porter loves to come forward. He loves to bang it out. He loves to go to the body. He loves to be the aggressor in the fight. Everybody he faces, with the exception of Udena Sugas, which, I, which surprised the hell out of me that he was the aggressor in that fight. Every other fight I've seen Sean Porter in, he's always been the aggressor. When he, when he fought Keith Thurman, when he fought Danny Garcia, and he outboxed Danny Garcia, hands down. Um, and when he fought Errol Spence, he was the aggressor. When I In this fight against Crawford, we might see Sean Porter be the aggressor, or we might, show, or we might see the same Sean Porter that came out and defeated Danny Garcia off of straight boxing. We all seen that. We all seen Sean Porter can box. And if you haven't seen Sean Porter really, really box and not be the aggressor and come forward and push his opponent and, and go beast mode and, and, and like somebody called him a football player one time, watch that fight against. Go go rewatch the fight against Danny Garcia and Sean Porter. You'll see how Sean Porter outbox Danny Garcia. Uses jab phenomenally, phenomenally. Uses right hand and his footwork was great that whole fight. Definitely the footwork was there. Now Crawford. Ambiguous as it is, ambidextrous, whatever, whatever, whatever way you would call the word, he can hit you with both hands. He's long, got a little height, got a little height. Definitely got some good reach. Got some phenomenal speed also and quickness, and he's very cagey. So, um, Terrence Crawford is a cagey, cagey fighter. Cagey meaning he's very intelligent. He thinks on his feet and he reacts very well and he assesses his opponent very well. And once he assesses his opponent and gets where he needs to be, he knows exactly where he wants to get him out of there. I don't think the fight between Porter and Crawford is going to go the distance, just like I don't think the fight between Pacquiao and um, Spence is going to go the difference, distance. I think either man has, a, in both fights, 
either man, either opponent has the skills, has the talent, has the boxing pedigree to take the other opponent out. However, I'm choosing Errol Spence over Manny Pacquiao. I'm choosing late round stoppage. Maybe even on, maybe, I, I think he's going to stop Manny on the stool. Honestly speaking, I think he's going to stop Manny on the stool or Freddie Roach is going to throw in the towel. I'm telling you now, he's going to either stop Manny on the stool or Freddie Roach will throw in the towel. Facts. Crawford and, Crawford and um, Sean Porter, as the fight get closer, I'm going to kind of continue to watch some of their previous fights and kind of break down their, their skill sets more, you know, in a way where I can kind of figure out who's going to win. Right now, both men got the opportunity and the capability to knock each other out as well. Because we do know Crawford does get hit early, but I think that's, that's his thing where he kind of just figures you out early and some punches land, not hard punches, but some punches do land on Sean Porter or Terrence Crawford early. And a lot of us don't like that because how much we like Terrence Crawford. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? With that being said, phenomenal fight, August 21st. Errol Spence Jr. taking on Manny Pacquiao, eight division world champion, the legend. This might be the retirement fight for, for um, Errol Spence, I mean, for Manny Pacquiao. You they, they might have to throw him in the box, man. You might have to throw him in the box. You might have to throw him in the hole, put some dirt on him. He ain't rising like The Undertaker. He not rising like Kane. You know what I mean? Ain't no Paul Bear to pick him up. Freddie Roach, you're not Paul Bear, bro. You're not Paul Bear. You're not going to come out with the urn and, 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 and Manny Pacquiao pop up like he The Undertaker. It's not happening, bro. It's not happening. Errol Spence, TKO, stoppage, eight knife round, either on the stool or he just, yeah, I'm or, or Freddie Roach throwing in the towel. Because if he go in there and just keep getting beat up and beat up and beat up, somebody's going to have to throw in the towel. Maybe his wife's going to throw in the towel. I don't know. Maybe his wife's going to be like that when she, with the voodoo, <laughs> you know what I mean, when he fought Pat Marquez. I don't think Errol Spence is going to knock him out with, with, a, with a one hitter, but I do think Errol Spence is going to break that body down. I do think Errol Spence is going to stop him. TKO stoppage, eighth night for him. Manny Pacquiao will be retired come August 21st. I'm out at y'all soon enough. Xavier Porter, shoot the five. Drop your comments below. Hit the subscribe button. I appreciate, like, and share. Peace.